So when you're satisfied with your device design, what you need to do is print it out on vellum tracing paper. Now vellum tracing paper is some of the thickest commercially available tracing paper. I was able to find some of it at my local Michaels Arts and Crafts store, but sometimes it's listed as 55 pound tracing paper, number 90 tracing paper, 99, number 90 vellum tracing paper, or just vellum tracing paper. Regardless, whatever you find, make sure it's the highest weight per area tracing paper that you can get your hands on because if you use tracing paper that is too thin and attempt to print onto it, it will often melt during the printing process causing your printer to jam, which is a real bummer. Second, you need to use the highest resolution printer that you can get your hands on. This is extremely important because the printing onto tracing paper process is actually the greatest hindrance to resolution in your final device. The following development, etching, and casting processes only um, hinder the resolution a fraction of the amount that the printing process does due to the pixelation that occurs when the ink hits the tracing paper and blots out word essentially. Um, <clears throat> I used a 1200 dpi laser jet printer and this allowed me to achieve resolution of about 40 micrometers in my final devices. If you can get your hands on a high resolution printer you might be able, be able to get below 30 or 20 micrometers in your final device. So I've printed out two designs <clears throat> onto the vellum tracing paper. These are called photo masks. We will use these to expose um, printed circuit boards to UV light, which will then impart this design onto the circuit board. Up next.